Hey there, Bushy here. A couple of days ago, I had a live stream. I made a live stream where I tried to apply my Fusion 360 knowledge and translate it over to using Onshape. Literally using Onshape for the first time in my life. And because it would just be boring to design just a random thing, I tried to design and copy the undershelf drawer that I designed um, a year ago. And I stole, back then, I stole the idea from Maker's Muse when he remodeled his desk. So it was the first take back, back then in Fusion, and I use it every single day. It is just awesome. And the particular very brilliant idea that he that um, Maker's Muse had are or were those uh, side rails that limit the surface area of the two parts moving against each other to a minimum, allowing the draw to be really easily pulled up, up, out, and down, whatever it's called, so out and in, I guess. It was actually quite fun using Onshape for that task, although in the beginning I was quite scared that the concepts and the handling of the two softwares might be so vastly different that I would just stumble and fail and got stuck or get stuck, which didn't happen. So it was really interesting to, although I was searching, of course, for buttons and, and the right tools where they are located for ages, but the concepts and the ideas were, I would say, one-to-one -one applicable between Fusion 360 and Onshape. Down to something like a timeline and the features and how parts are organized and all those things. So I cut the live stream down a little bit and uh, cut out length. If you're interested in the full version, I'll link it down in the, in the description or actually check it out here. If you're interested in the original video of Maker's Muse, where I got the inspiration and the idea for the shelf design, uh, I also link that in the description box down below. Yeah, and if you if you enjoy this video, I would be really happy if you could express that and share a like or even subscribe to the channel. And now, without further ado, have fun with the video. Let's start. Um, document name. How about desk? Uh, deck, desk um, the shelf slider. Great public document. I should have called it Bushy or something. Um, did something happen? Yes, it did. Great. Cool. Unfortunately, I don't have any measurements left. You know, it's very authentic, this stream. I have no measurements left of the box. Uh, I will just do this on the fly and, and work our way. So that's 11 centimeters. That's, um, you know. Seems like it was intentional. All right, so I think I need to start with the sketch, just as in Fusion, I hope. And uh, let me see, X, X and Y. Okay, it starts with me not being able to move everything around. I noticed actually that the moving on the end shape is quite weird, so you can, it's, uh, it's, it's tilting. So I'm used to, if you move it, it spins around the Z axis and X and Y are always on the bottom. But in Onshape, it seems like that limitation is not given. So, okay, I can see here in the top and top right, bottom top right corner, that it's moving in all directions. So let's see how, how that goes. That's something I need to figure out, I guess. Um, will come over time, hopefully. All right, let's put this in the exit, I guess. Uh, exit or. Yeah, so front. Front makes sense. Ah, it's called front, right. Makes sense. Let's start with the, the rectangle. Uh, what's the what's the units actually? Okay, let's see. How can I define that? I can just move, okay, I just move it, okay. Ah, okay, now I can define it. No, I can't. Interesting. Tap, tap, nothing happens. Interesting. Okay, okay. Okay, dimensions are gone. That's confusing me. Okay, center point rectangle is maybe also not bad. Uh, let's, let's start with um, the basic one. I would have guessed how to confirm, select, hmm. how to do that. Now I would, ah, I have to, no. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a great start. Let's see. Let's give it a dimension. I guess there's a better way to do this, but anyway. So I said 11 centimeters, right? 11 centimeters. 
Double check. Check, check. Can you see the, the thing still? Yeah, I think. Yeah, great. So 11 is the outer dimension. It's going to be also interesting to uh, how to extrude it in the, in the inner section, but there will be very smart ways, I guess. And the height is... Okay, that's kind of also seems to be intentional. 3.5 centimeters. Okay. Okay, no comma allowed, so dot. As always. Cool. Um, should I do something more? Maybe the rails already or not? Hmm. No, maybe not. Okay, how can I see if it's constrained enough or not? It should be now constrained or maybe not because it's not... Can I move that still around? <laughs> um, how can I move that? Or would I be able to move? No. Uh, clear selection. Select. Confirm. Say, yeah, I want to move it. Dude. Come on. Where's the line? Here, yeah, line. Okay, let's let's create a test line. Okay, that's my test line. Ah, okay. Okay, I can move it. It's blue because it's. I guess it's not constrained fully. Come up with the second one. Okay, same color. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, I guess that is uh, now the not constrained version. Okay, we give it a, a defined angle. Okay, now it's constrained. Why is it constrained already? The length is not given. Interesting. Okay. Okay, it is black. Okay, now it's constrained, right? Yeah. So the, the angle is given here, the length is given here, the length is given here. So, okay, I guess. So so black is uh, fully fine then in unshaped terms. Um, cool. Then let's sketch here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, next would be extrusion, maybe. Let's see how long that was. Not even sure my caliper is long enough. It's not. God damn it. I knew it. You know, as if I'm very organized. All my tools are in the background. I'm just lucky, I guess, right? Um, let's see. So, 16. Wow, that's a weird dimension that I put there in the first place. Interesting. 16 point. It's not even a... Okay. Interesting. 16.6.5. <laughs> uh, let's make it just, I guess... Why did I choose such a weird? Okay, it's 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 reaching further than the than the shelf is thick, so it's not that. Okay, then let's go with just uh, sixteen five, I guess, huh? Okay, extrude. Where is extrude? Extrude. Modify. Extrude. What looks like an extrusion? Chat, don't be shy. You know, shout at me. Shout at me. Extrude. Okay, wow. Oh, okay. Didn't look like an extrude for me, but um, who am I, right? All right. So we said 16.5 centimeters. Okay. Ah, here's surface. Wait, surface. Okay. That is then only giving me the surface. Yeah, okay, I see. Okay, that's cool. Thin, thin extrude might also be nice. Yes. Can I change? Yeah, obviously I can change. Okay, blind just means you know uh, a distance. I that is that is I heard I heard that in, in some tutorial. So blind means you know just extrude by a given length and that, that's it, not you know um, constrained by other other objects or or things. Um, let's see. So I'm looking now. Um, this is obviously going taking the shape and then extruding. Thin, extruding it outwards. I used it in one of the uh, one of the tutorials that I did latest for, for example, designing this softbox there. Uh, not the softbox, the, the the grid for it. So if you go through my videos, you you will see that instantly. Um, doesn't really matter now, but I'm just curious uh, because I will probably use that today. And. Okay, that's only the the boolean operations. New. 
Face thickness. Flip wall. Yes. Okay. And can I also go from the center? Okay, it's two. Okay, it's two thicknesses. Um, that's okay. That's probably the one that I'm looking for. Now it's going in both directions. Okay, cool. And if I flip this, nothing changes because they're the same. They're the same uh, thickness. <clears throat> okay, let's extrude like this for now. Let's be simple, you know. Let's have another look what I did here. Okay, so we need to we did need to cut out the uh, interior for sure. And what I definitely also like is the the walls here are a bit recessed, so they're not you're not attaching um, on the on the full height, but recessed a little bit in. Okay, how can I um, now? I'm I selected this. Uh, this um, layer or this uh, face. What's it called here? Um, yeah, this layer, right? Or this sketch plane. Sketch plane. The sketch plane. Okay. Um, how can I... Can I reference those immediately or do I need to project them or something? In, in uh, Fusion, you need to project not all of them. If you if you selected really the same face, also I think it's uh, done automatically, automatically. What I would like to do now is to um, take those walls, shrink them in by a certain amount to give me like define the the wall thickness. That's probably a better way, you know, for sure. Maybe to to thin extrude, for example, that the, what I just looked at. But I would like to try this out now here, maybe. No, concentric. That's something else. Um, Let's see. Ah, here's project actually. Nice. Uh, text for sure not. Construction line, I guess. Uh, fillets, trim, offset. That sounds exactly what I want. Cool. Let's see what what was the wall thickness because I'm just copying what I did here because it works works for me. It just works. There was a one off. And for some reason I nailed, okay, it's two millimeters. I nailed uh, basically all the, the dimensions on. Okay, wait, no, I made a mistake. No mirror, offset, oh, what's, what's this actually? Slot, oh, that's also nice. Right. No, I want to. <laughs> yes, offset. No, but not this. Ah, okay, I need to click on the, on the plane or on the yeah, on the plane of this. Now how can I how can I actually give it? Well, I just type in, I guess. No. How can I change this this dimension, this offset value? Okay, I click on it. That's easy, I guess. Two millimeters. Great. <laughs> okay. All right, then extrude down. A very very simple approach. I'm not trying to be this sophisticated here, I'm just trying to get the work done. And now I would actually try to up to next. Does that work? No. Uh, through all, up to face. Maybe down to face. Okay. Ah, maybe I, I need to select the face, huh? That makes sense. No? Remove. Okay, I need to fix remove. Makes sense. Up to face. Did I select it? Yes. It seems like I've selected it. Merge scope. Why merge? No, I delete that for now. Remove. Maybe I clicked before. Okay. What's that actually? Preview before and after the future. Oh, that's nice. Although it seems that uh, whatever I'm trying is not really working. Okay, let's maybe let's maybe um, not do fancy things. Try blind first. Okay, that works. And also all the way through. Yeah. Okay, but that's not what I want. I want to extrude down and then stop at a certain offset. Up to part. No vertex. No, it's face. Face makes sense. Okay. Ah, okay, now it worked. Okay, weird. And now I would like to have an offset. Offset. Cool. And not two and a half centimeters, but I need to actually check how much. 
So that were, what did I say, three, five? Three and a half centimeters, okay. And then the distance to the bottom. There's a lot, there's a big chamfer, so I need to be careful. So that means there's a two millimeter bottom. Okay, so three, three, five centimeters, let's see. Ah, right. I need to offset this by two millimeters because it's, uh, I, I told it to go from the bottom. So obviously I need to you know, define the, the thickness. Okay, cool. Oof. Okay, that was harder than it should have been. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, parallel projection. I like that. I need to learn how to switch that because I saw somebody switching it very fluently back and forth and it was really helpful for looking at a part in parallel, not in parallel, in, but in um, perspective projection. Like we would actually see it and then for designing stuff it's it's much better to have parallel so that you don't have any parallaxes effects. Okay. Um, so that's the basic thing. I guess there is an option to have um, to get define a sh like a sketch with the compartment lines and then extrude those down, maybe even a thin extrude them. Um, I will try to be a bit fancy there. I will do that in a second, but uh, in the meantime, let's uh, work on the side rails. Um, not sure if it makes a whole lot of sense not to include them in, this, in the first sketch. Oh, you know what? Wait, how to change that actually? Okay, going back. Yeah, why not? Let's go back and uh, add them. All right, let's see. So where are they located? My guess would be right in the middle. And that looks as if I am wrong. One point, so I can actually, it's funny, I can use it as, a, as an indicator where it's pointing. So three point, now the height changed, what the heck? Oh man. Okay, no, no, I didn't say it. I, I'm just stupid. Um, I think it is it's located a bit higher than in the middle. Doesn't really matter actually. Let's let's put it at uh, 1.5 centimeters from the top. And the, the thickness of that thing is... So I would say it is roughly six millimeters, 65. Yeah, it's, it's five. Okay, that's enough. Let's not be, you know, more... Uh, we have a saying in German, not päpstlicher als der Papst, so not uh, being more precise as the... or like... Not more popish like the Pope. Well, let's put it as this first. Okay, uh, what about coincidence? I need a rectangular... Um, perpen sorry, perpendicular constraint of those two lines. Okay. They should be equal length. Okay. The distance from this point to this line should be 0 0.5 centimeters. And then the distance from this point to this point. No, wrong. From this point to this point should be 1.5. Okay. It got black. That's good means it is constrained, at least as far as I understood on shape. That's it, okay. Okay, it's not extruding that. But my hope is that, perfect, I can select it and, but I will not do that. I will not do that. I will do that in a second, like um, extra step and then try to mirror it over to the other side. Let's extrude again. Okay, and then let's extrude it, extrude it all the way to next, to face. Okay, cool. Kind of worked. How can I now mirror that? Oh, I saw the mirror um, tool already. What was it? Here, mirror. And mirror. Entities to mirror. Can I can I select a feature? Okay, I double clicked on that. That was not the right action. So mirror. Add remove new. 
I'll probably add, right? By the way, is this now one piece? Looks like it is, actually. So it was added, not like it merged or uh, automatically. Cool. Mirror plane. Okay, mirror plane is something else that I don't have, but can I not select parts to mirror? And I cannot part mirror, part feature mirror. That's exactly what I mean. Extrude. And I'm missing a plane. Yeah, and the plane I need to construct first, I guess. What are those actually? Comments. Performance. Or whatever. How can I mirror or how can I construct a another plane or a a mirror plane? <clears throat> okay, those are frame operations. Plane. <laughs> Here. Okay. So what 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 button was that? This one, okay. Mid plane is, is a good thing here. So I'm selecting this one. I'm selecting this one that I get. I get the middle plane, which I can use then to mirror over this feature. I could have also cut it in half and mirror the entire box over um, at a certain point, but there are so many ways to the to the end. So I'm using this one. Okay, part mirror, part feature. The extrusion. I'm a bit confused why everything is lit up now. That's weird. And the mirror plane is this one. Okay, that's not, it, it doesn't look right, does it? Let's try. Did not regenerate properly. Could not create all instances as enter. Try reapply feature option. Um, why is it giving me when I'm selecting this? Why is it also selecting the sides here? Ah, because it's referencing that? But I'm not extruding that, so why is it important? How can I deselect something? Extrude. That's weird. Which which part of it is confusing? What I'm doing or how it's working? Very fat sack. Still, love the name. Um, okay, let's go back to the extrusion. What did I do? I selected this face. Face of sketch one, okay. So far so good. Or merge scope. Can I influence that? I what what if I don't want to merge it? Okay, then I, I don't add, I knew it. I knew it. And then it's a new part, I guess, and then I need to merge it later. That would probably bring me the success, but why is it not possible to... So in, in, in Fusion, it's definitely possible to extrude a shape and then mirror this step. Like, this is what I'm trying to do right now. I, I try to mirror the extrusion step as a feature. So if I'm now going to the mirror operation, I'm only selecting mirror feature, yeah, feature mirror. What is face mirror actually? Part mirror. Okay, okay, yeah, something, some faces uh, instead of some mirror, some parts. But feature is, and I guess they are using the same terminology because it's uh, just you know making sense. And and uh, the defense like what are you using on the on a regular basis right now? Because I think coming from Fusion, it's it's very similar. So the concepts are basically the same, but uh, it's yeah, it's a different interface, of course, and things are a bit just different. But um, so far, I mean, I'm just slow because I don't know where everything is. Um, sounds like a bad excuse. It is. Um, okay, let's you know, the, the, I, I will figure it out at some point. So. Let's try it this way. Then I go for new for this extrusion and then suddenly it works. Okay. But now I have three different parts, right? I have this part, the middle part, and then this on the side, and then a mirrored one on the other side. Okay, then uh, definitely we need a merge operation. I must be there. Ah, here. Boolean. There it is. Okay. So it's kind of smart. It selected all of them. Union. Zack. All right. 
Got it. Okay. I need to like kind of memorize the. Okay, the, the, the icon actually makes sense, right? Cool. Okay, something that's going to be really interesting is the the outside form and how to um, how to de design it around it. But probably it's also yeah, should be should be doable. Okay, let's let's not be you know more complicated again. Um, can I actually disable those? Is there kind of default? Okay, I have no idea how to organize stuff in a, in a good way. Wait, if it's visible, okay. I thought it's now the, the other way around. Okay. Plane. Disable that, cool. Okay, so maybe now what I would like to do is try to uh, recess a construction plane down in into the compartment a little bit. Combine maybe. Yeah. Combine, yeah, it was here. Boolean operation. And then union. It's actually a huge delay and uh, I have the feeling there's a like relatively large um, delay. Okay, that I don't check right now, but Um, how was that? Uh, you see, I forgot again. Here, plane. Mid plane, offset plane. Okay, let's go here. Okay, it's, it's offset already, cool. All right, let's put it, how much in? So again, my reference works quite good, oh, works quite well. Okay, let's recess it by plus minus. Okay, plus is good. Now we have a sketch plane and then sketch plane. It's creating another. Okay, that's, that's confusing. Metric, perfect. Very good. Um, and I'm not giving any, any, any meaningful names just right now. Ah, maybe now I need to reference and project actually, because now we are definitely out of the the lines and the like the definition, the defined lines. I saw a project earlier. Where was it? Here. Use project convert. Yeah, that's the one. Cool. Maybe go for the lines, the exact lines. Show over defined. That's a nice tooltip. Show over defined. Show over defined. Obvious, right? Show constraint. Nice. <laughs> Perfect example of uh, how not to do it. Anyway. Um, oh, what's what's not really helpful? How to get now into the sketch here? Ah, I stepped out. Okay, cool. Um, Horizontal. Okay, let me. So, what? What would I like to have? Probably the same as here. But maybe just, you know, for simplicity, maybe actually the same, same organization, just without the SD card compartment and just an empty one. I guess it's hard to see. All right. So that would give me a distance from the left inner side. And you know, it doesn't, okay, it's six centimeters. It doesn't go down all the way to the like nitty gritty detail. Okay, there was no line, why is there no line? Ah, that's a constraint that I'm currently stacking. That's, uh, that's very stupid. That is the middle point. That is not something I want. Although it's helpful that it's there. Okay. Deliberately now completely misplaced it. Can I actually? Yes. Very good. Ah, so much better. Okay, let's make it vertical. Nice. That worked. Then I need another one. I eyeball it right now. 
just to have something. Escape line. Oh, that's so nice. That's nice. Can I get it back? No, I didn't put ah, didn't want to confirm it. Can I get the last operation to my no, I need to click again. That's actually something that I really like on um in, in Fusion, although I'm not using it so frequently. Oh, well, that's nice. How did it figure this? That they I have a line or I have a Okay, interesting, um, interesting helper logic there to, to give me this tool now, just out of the blue. A tangent, right? Tangent arc, it's called. Okay, let's define the dimensions here quickly. So the ones that I already know, six. A very small one, probably fine. Maybe I make it a bit bigger. So I'm talking about this one, the small one here. Can you see that? Yeah, there it is. There's a cloth in there, so it's so that is currently three. Maybe I make it a bit bigger, maybe four. So this side here to the four. Okay, if I just hit enter, then it's uh, in in centimeters. That's also helpful to know at least. And then the big one is nine point five. I'm not really paying attention now if it's. If I'm measuring from here to there, and then if it's already the defined thickness or not, I'm just, you know, the, the basic outline is fine. To have it just um, pop it over and then it doesn't have to be one to one. I'm not trying to be exact here. It's just something that works more or less. Okay. Cool. Now I was talking about this earlier, the gusset. Maybe that's probably still right, but um, I think I, I, I think. I think I will just go with uh, thin extrude for now because it's um, a bit in, a bit easier. Thin uh, thickness, I guess a millimeter or a bit more even, 1.5. Yeah, 1.5. I printed that in PLA and 1.5 in PLA is, is, is quite tough and sturdy. So you can bend it still, but not that uh, it really uh, goes anywhere. So, down to film. Why is it complaining? Um, face of, ah, it, wait. Okay, uh, I didn't know where I, I started now. Again, I want to, can I not select? Thin. Okay, the lines. Right, that's what I wanted. Can I click? Yeah, perfect. Click there. Okay, I don't want it. I don't want to select this line. So is it now? Ext okay, it's extruding up. Good. I want not to go blind. I want to face down. And then thickness. I said one point, but not centimeters. That would be a bit too much. Is it doing now anything or not? Thin? Okay. Not really, huh? Question is why. Oh, that was a nice. That was a nice view. Um. Okay, so I selected the edges. That's fine. I'm thin. I'm adding. Thickness is defined in one direction. That's for now. It's okay, I guess. Uh, thickness is fine. Up to face, face to, and the face is also selected. Why is it not working? I'm, am I doing something wrong? Maybe go blind first. Um. Hmm. It's a bit plain here, actually. Ah. Is that is that uh, going in in both directions? Yeah, it looks like it is. Cool. Let's 
go again for 1.5 millimeters. Blind, why is it not working? So extrude 4 didn't didn't regenerate properly. The edges can only meet at the ends overlapping or ah the edges only meet at the okay. Ah the colorant they use make property there yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit it's a bit unfortunate that this is actually the case, but uh, it's kind of obvious that color is not is is there and it's changing stuff, so yeah. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that works in, in fusion actually. You select the, the lines and then thin extrude. I'm not sure, but um, then I need to go with a different tool. Okay, so that's gonna be now I, I could I I guess I could do all of them separately. Yeah, like this, which is very ugly, of course. So going all the way down. Oh, I really don't want to do that. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not a fan. I'm not really a fan. But at least you see immediately that something is not working. That's at least something. You know what? Okay. Let's go for mid plane. Yes. Yes. You can already see that it's moving. Yes. That's cool. You see? It's moving in place, kind of in the middle of the line. That's cool. Um, okay. I need to. I need to play with this, but probably not now in the in the stream. So I, I extrude twice. It's not nice. I agree, and I see it the same way, but never mind for now. Mid plane would be so cool if you could maybe remember the last entered value. Up to face, down there, go ahead, and it is one part. Okay, cool. Okay, damn. Yeah. <laughs> What's the undo? Where's the undo? I never use it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Although, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's very nice that you have the history and you can go back and I guess even uh, delete things here. Yeah, exactly. And then I undo that one. Okay, um, I would say that is already pretty far into what I wanted to do. That gives me a lot of you know, relief, I have to say. I wasn't sure how that would work out. Um, the obvious necessity for fillets down there, or no, sorry, not fillets, um, the chamfers, um, should be apparent for everyone, right? Where are those? I haven't seen them, I think. A rip. That could also be something that, ah, maybe ribs. Ah, that would be now something to try out, actually. I'll do it off, 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 off screen, but off, off, off screen and off stream. Um, but I guess the rib could be something to extrude, like exactly now as I did, um, and down to the next phase. Chamfer, here. Cool. Measurement, also, oh, let's see. Face, 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 face. Wow, that looks that looks exactly what I have in the other what I have here. That's cool. Tangent propagation. That's probably it's it's, it's such a basic example that you know you, there's no change. Let's go with this. I like it. You know, for very small things, it makes it much easier to to grab them with a the long finger. You know, roll it on the edge roll it out like this. I think that's also the reason why I did why I did it in the first place. Okay, let's get rid of the plane. That's kind of confusing. And then as a last step, I would say, did I have actually chamfers on the top? Ah, okay, in the, not on the edge, I think, but 
on the inside. So on the outer edge, there's nothing, but on the inside, which is probably, yeah, that's maybe a good idea. Maybe here. Yeah, if the finger catches this edge, that it's not so hard to the finger. So maybe let's do that right now. Can I double click to select the entire one? No, I can't. That's a, that's a pity. And then let's not go so extreme. Did it change something? I'm not really processing what I'm seeing actually. Why is it why is it changing the the height of the entire construction? That's a bit weird. Ah okay, ah, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. It's trying to do something out of my requirement that was too too crass. Okay, if I go higher or or broader, oh ah, I can use the up and downs. That's nice. Cool. So if it's if I'm demanding something it cannot fulfill, then it's just cutting away. That's fine. Let's go with 0 0.5 centimeters, so uh, 0 0.5 millimeters. Yes. Usually I'm working in, in millimeters, so it's a bit confusing that uh, centimeter is the, but this must be a, a config option. And then the same for those. Can I select the bottom? Yes, I can. And here it's actually still too much, I guess. Wow, a lot of color coding happening here. Ah, it doesn't work because it's trying to create a chamfer that's going up here. Why is it not, you know, tangent propagation? Why is it not, you know, solve my issues? Take care of my, of, of my problems, please. Equal distance. What's that? Wow. <laughs> okay, that's uh, no, that's probably not what I want. Okay, then it doesn't work this way. Then I need to be a bit more explicit. Chamfers. Okay, then I want this, 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 this. This feels very stupid now, but here we are. Yeah, like this is fine, I guess. Okay. Cool. Have you figured out how to use... Uh, no, you said you are using Fusion, right? I'm, I'm really... How the rotation and the, like... The rotation works here, I haven't really figured out. Because if I'm just going back and forth, it's, it's, it feels like it's... Yeah, it is rotating in all directions. <laughs> so I'm... I haven't figured out how to do that. Uh, there must be a tutorial for that. Ah, what's that? Shaded, okay, the isometric. Ah, okay, what's diametric? What is diametric? Tree metric? Isometric? Huh. Interesting. Okay, just different angles, I guess. Or, maybe not. Let's, holy crap. Sorry for that. Let's, that's the front part. Let's create the the handle as a last thing because it, you know, it's very, very basic, very simple. Cannot be simpler. It's just like a, a triangle here and then covered with origin is not the center of, I have an emoji here for reacting and that is overlapping with the text. That is really confusing. It's not at the center of the model. Um, yeah, but still, look. If I'm going in, in a circle, it's rotating an all. Is it an all? Yeah, basically in all dimensions. So it's it's projecting my 2D motion into a 3D motion. That is something I'm not used to from Fusion. That's that's just it, I guess. Or wait, wait. The direction of the rotation. Ah, okay, I see. <sighs> uy, uy, uy. 
yeah, whatever. There's there's a way to handle it. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Is the midplane still there? There's the midplane. I will use this to create. Does it make sense? Yeah, probably, huh? To have it in the middle. So let's create a sketch here. Create the outline. What is the outline? I have no idea. But it worked, so I will copy it. Where's my capital? Capital Caliper. Um, so that is 1.2 centimeters again. Wow, that looks. Is it the same height? Looks different. Okay, there's something off. I think I, I, I've messed up the position of the, the rail in the first place, but shouldn't shouldn't make any difference. Um, the the width is five centimeters. That's like more or less doesn't matter, but it's uh, it's working. So let's copy. Do I need something else? Yes, the distance from the top. Where does it start? It's like six again, six. Uh, and uh, thickness, did I measure that already? If yes, then I forgot it in the meantime. Nine centimeter? No, nine millimeters. Okay. Oh god, that was too much. No, too much information. Okay, let's have this perpendicular again. And equal. Not parallel, but equal. Okay, and I said, I think, five millimeters from the top. Ooh. I think that didn't work. Okay, 0 0.5 centimeters. Um, Okay, let's do it like this. Much better. That was 0 0.9 centimeters. Um, that's it, right? Yeah. Can I do more? I could. I could. Maybe I, maybe I give it actually... Um, can I offset that line? Offset, offset, offset. Where was offset? Um, here. Can I just offset this line? I think was it. I guess a, I guess this one is maybe a millimeter. Yes. Huh. Huh. Okay, and then it's going a bit. Further, is that a problem? Probably. Let's connect those two lines. And now I need to cut it off here. Scissors, trim, perfect. Boop. Now it's gone. Awesome. Boom. Okay. Let's extrude. Extrude. Extrude that. Extrude this. No, not this. Uh, no, sorry, that doesn't make any sense. Why is it so. Okay, it's. Solid, blind is fine in this case. Hmm. Okay, was deselected for some reason, sorry for that. I thought I selected it. Um, I added, I move it by 2.5 milli uh, centimeters I edit perfect and then I need to get the sketch back same behavior as in uh, fusion it disappears after the first extrusion usually a good thing not in all cases and now I need to I didn't close it that is why the, the surface of this doesn't doesn't count there. Yeah, that's why I cannot. I couldn't select it. Um, now I understood why. 
and I am extruding this from blind is in this case fine one millimeter uh, and then the starting offset is NTT NTT blind mm -hmm -hmm. How does that work? Okay, fine. Blind. The extrusion itself should be blind because there's no reference. But I want to have it starting from an offset face. Direction is not something that I... That's fine. Oh, direction is actually nice. I'm not sure that's possible in Fusion, so that you, for example, can move it out of the out of the uh, the the plane in a different direction. I guess that is nice. I need to try that. Starting offset must be starting offset, right? Starting offset entity. Okay, yeah, entity, maybe. But why is it giving me now two faces here? I only want one. I only want the original one. Ah, it kind of worked, right? Ah, it worked. Cool. It's, but why is it red? It's kind of confusing. Minus one. Ah, okay. I don't get why it was red. But now it's not red, and that makes me very happy, and that's all I need, for now at least. Okay. And last step, mirroring, mirroring, mirroring it over. <sighs> Forget who mirrors again. Mirror, 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 somewhere here. Uh, here, here, here. Mirror. Um, you know we can add and we want to part feature this extrude and this extrude right and the mirror plane is this one does it work no why not could not create all instances I entered could not create all instances as entered also try but why Okay, this, this is, I think, behaving differently to what we know from Fusion. Hmm. That is something I need to like research how that works, probably off, off stream. And to, again, figure and to counter that, I will create now a new part here and a new part there. And then I will, yeah, you see now it, suddenly it works. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. At least it, it's appearing immediately. That's something. And again, it's messing up my view. Okay, now the sketch can go. And this um, plane, where is it? Mirror plane. Oh, I can move it around. Oh, so there's definitely a history. That's cool. And you can click and, and show it in the history. That's also nice. Behaving exactly the same. That's that's very familiar then. That's something. And um, merging. Merging of the now uh, union of, of all those parts, right? Of all of them, basically. All right. Cool. Right. Nice. So that concludes basically the basic shop shop box i wanted to say it's late and now i could now send this immediately to the printer as far as i can tell looks good obviously i was slower than than usual but um that was kind of expected right so if, if you use the software that you've never touched before there's only so much that you can expect from yourself and um 
and I realized that I chamfered also the edges. That is something that I will do, do um, as last step here because it's uh, just adding to where was chamfering. Chamfer, 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 chamfer. Here, fill it. If if you see the face bend, nice chamfer. I need to probably select. Uh, the edges again and not this this okay there you cannot select the hidden line not the face, this one. what i really like is if i'm selecting something that doesn't make sense it's highlighting that, highlighting that with the color immediately i cannot provoke it now but uh, that is something that is really nice if there's already this check running in the background you know i ah, wait 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 you're messing up that's not gonna work. That's cool. That's very helpful. Okay, one millimeter, two millimeters, does it work? It's pretty much, but will make it easier to, to like channel it into the slot initially. So I probably keep it Cool. Hopefully it's not too much. It looks a bit as if it's much, too much maybe. Um, why is this sketch active? Okay, interesting. Yeah, but honestly, I like it. So, did I put a chamfer on, on the handle actually? I think I did. And I have to say, it's really, really nice to the hand. So that's, yeah, sorry for not realizing that earlier. I will just chamfer around like crazy. Oh, that doesn't work. Maybe, maybe because of the strength. Yes. Nice. And I think this is also happening. So um, when I'm touching the, the bottom, here it looks also as if it is flat like what's happening now here so i i think that is just working fine I, and, and i keep can keep it like this <laughs> sorry for the messed up view that is something I, I still need to really figure out as one of the next things because it's driving me already now crazy and it would also be nice to have a better kind of that doesn't work come on do it why not? Ah, yeah, okay, it doesn't like it. Hmm. Then let's get rid of it. Usually I put, ah, because of this pointy edge here, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably too much. Okay, let's reduce it by, like, let's half it. Half it, half it, half it. Chamfer. Okay, and let's do the same here, which also helps to attach those parts uh, to the print more more properly and then have it have it uh, have it let, let it have a better connection and strength okay my OCD kind of triggers here at this corner but it's gonna be so small no but nobody will see that not even me so I admit it's looking a bit ugly there but um, I can stand it so yeah, it's gonna be fine and you know when i'm at it um i should also add a chamfer here in this corner right ah, not sure yeah it's gonna be fine like this that's yeah, gonna be fine cool okay not touching it anymore this should be the pre-final drawer finish now Immediately afterwards, that's going to be interesting now how to how to figure how to handle that because I need mm, kind of the negative shape to put it as a you can see it here on the, on the second cam. Let me detach the camera and not disable it because then the stream will be gone. Um, it's too dark, but that is basically. 
you see that it's it's a hollow shape and i just attached it with teaser power strips and it's just this this way i can print it bottom like top um, um, upside down on the print pad it prints perfectly because of those 45 degrees which are printable um and I think I'm lying because uh, this would then be the this this would be bridged, and I think the quality of this is way too good. So I I think I printed it standing on the on the back side, and then printing upwards. And actually I, I can see the layer line, so I'm I'm stupid, you know. <laughs> ah right yeah yeah account preferences mouse controls view yeah exactly. I, I, I'm I'm gonna fiddle with that uh, as as one of the next things things so thanks. Um, and I will do exactly the same, like this one. The back plane is important for um, the ability to print it properly and as well to you know tuck it in and then have a defined end stop of the entire drawer. And again, it worked like this. It works really well. So there's no end stop for pulling it out all the way. I kind of know that this can happen, but you know, after you have pulled it out a bit, you know and uh, have this securing finger there that hooks on the top and I never let it fall out never ever did this happen so it's fine and then at the end you have this end stop you can really throw it in and that's that's really working great I have to say okay let's um how to do that it's gonna be interesting if this is possible as a post-mortem step features and parts okay that's this one here I mean, I guess I can just add another one and then it's, yeah. I can add a folder. Would be interesting to see, to know if there's a methodology to organize those in, um, uh, what's it called in, in Fusion, um, components. So the parts are kind of the, um, God, I forgot all the all the names for it. So the the solid objects, right? The objects, and those are organized. And you can have multiple objects in one component. And it's just a very nice way to organize all the different things. Um, for simplicity reasons, I will just why is everything selected? Okay, because I did. Um, I think I reckon the easiest will be to go from the backside. Well, it doesn't really matter, but the backside is, is here. Add a sketch here. Um, organize the view. I need a button. I need a shortcut for those corner points. Then I project. Where was project again? Uh, here. Use. Ah, okay. Use in the sense uh, reuse some other forms, um, probably. So this gives me the outline that I'm using, and that should be already it. I can deselect this one. Okay, I need to have... I need to get back in. Now I need the flaps at the sides to have some meat to actually glue it onto the table, and those don't need to be too big obviously but also uh, too small and uh, they are even recessed here slightly at the corners which is you know, again fancy um, I would say uh, a centimeter is fine probably can it okay I haven't really figured out how to do that while I'm drawing how to Okay, I'm, I cannot type anything now. If I click, ah, then I can type. Okay, makes kind of sense. I really like this tangent that this is appearing. I, I used it quite frequently in, in Fusion. Um, now I need to offset, or kind of this is this is the, like, the simplest approach in my opinion. Offset. Okay, I need to select all of them. Interesting. Okay, I did it twice, I guess. 
Äh, alright. Undo. <lacht> There it is. Why is it okay? Because I'm, I'm misclicking and then it's uh, already. Really precise. <laughs> Again, can I continue? No, I can't. That is annoying. Holy, how can I do that? Can I? Oh, okay, maybe just. Okay, makes sense. Just select all of them. Okay, that was simple. But I can only offset a single chain. Yeah, that's fine with me. Ah, because I have. What? What happened? Why are my... I knew that step would be... Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What's this? Something happened with the music. The music is kind of weird now. Now I have to answer here a lot of questions which I don't like. Let's go with pop for now. Right. Click. Ah, okay, that that is that was what was confusing. So I move on already, like have in the next line in my hands, but I can still change the one that I just drew. Escape line. Okay. I mean, why not? Why not? And can I now uh, offset this together with the rest or not? You know, usually I'm a very hasty clicker and I don't like that if I need to, like, a lot of precision to do it. Um, so, for, okay, I, I need to do this actually twice. I need to get um, get this offset away from the from the box itself to give it a little bit of spacing and then I need to of course obviously define the the shape and the thickness of the wall of the how to call it the shell right the shell um, so the offset would be something like um, usually I go with zero point Three millimeters. I think this in this case, because it's also on both sides, is probably fine. Maybe zero two actually. And um, I guess that now was. I'm talking about millimeters, not centimeters. How can I change it? Millimeters. Let's see. Yeah, that, I think it looks looks all right. You know, those 45 degrees are very easy for the printer to print, so that, that should be fine. Can I copy this? No, I can't. In a sketch, there's no kind of history, right? Where is there? No. Hmm. Can I now extrude this? Oh, not extrude, offset the offset again? Because that's something that's not working in... I'm constantly searching for this for this icon. That's not something that's possible in, in Fusion. I moved out of the sketch, that's when I'm searching it. Yeah, and it's possible. That is cool. That is cool, because I'm always grinding my teeth on this. That is not working in, in Fusion, and I have no idea why. I mean, it's a line. Yeah, it was offset, but so what? <laughs> I want to use this now, obviously, because I want it I want to have a defined thickness and not care if there's kind of an other original line that it is re referencing to. It feels like a, a software constraint that is not meant for the end user to um, care about. Okay, and the thickness of this is again, I think it's uh, thicker than, than I think. I think it's also two, two millimeters in this case. Yep. Yep. 
Oh, when they liked it, it's those are all aligned, and this this line didn't move out. That's cool. Um, let's sketch again. Now let's draw a line here to close it. Same on the other side. Again, there are a lot of different other ways how this clearing or clearance um, can be achieved. So you can also extrude it, thin extrude maybe even the line. Oh, that would have been actually a nice, very smart way. And then thin extrude with an offset, actually. That would have been way smarter. So for everybody who is watching, thin extrude this line in one direction, not symmetrical, with an offset. Not sure if it's possible even, but I think it is. That would have been so much better than what I did now. Um, and that looks so weird because there's a chamfer. So it's actually fine. If you look now um, on the or at the at the shape, it's that is exactly how it should be. Now let ex let's extrude this. Um, Oh, I forgot actually something. Let's go back into the shape and draw another line and close the inner compartment here because we will need that in a second for the back backside. And now let ex let's extrude this all the way to the front. Not blind, but up to face, like so. Okay. All righty. Cool. Then let's extrude and let's get the sketch back. Let's extrude. Let's get rid of this part for now. So let's get rid of this part for now. Sketch, please. Sketch, please. This. Why is this shape there? What is this shape? Why is this... Is, eh? It's not even in the... Holy stokes. Extrude. Yo, buddy, what's happening? Give me... I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Okay, maybe keep this. <laughs> Extrude. Holy. Why is the reference here? I don't get that. Is something else still there? So I'm seeing, obviously I'm seeing the chamfer reference that I have nev I've never put in this sketch. For some reason I've deactivated the part. I'm a bit confused that I can actually click and select it. I'm not, and I cannot select this middle part, although it should be closed. There's a line, you see? It should be a closed shape. Oh boy, that's confusing. That is confusing. So let's let's have another look at the at the shape here, at the sketch. Sorry, ah, it's not closed. It's not closed. Okay. You know, computers always have have it have it straight. Are, are, are right. Um, um, where is constraint? Constraint. I'm not in the sketch, right? Yes. Midpoint. No, it was here. Coincidence. This one. And this one. Okay. Now it's closed. Now it makes a lot of more sense. Yes. 
Okay, gray is closed. One shape makes me want to drink heavy, heavily. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of the same for me still, but um, I guess it comes with a bit more practice. All right. <sighs> Extrude. Okay, now at least I can... I, I still don't get why this shape is here, this form, why I can click on it, and but I won't bother right now. All right. Okay, I can't. Ah, up to face. It's like, why is it? Why is up to face? Blind. Ah. Okay. Now I messed up. I selected um, the X. I was messing with the extrusion that created this part, I think. Yes. That's not what I wanted. Now I need to add another extrusion, of course. And now I want to select this. And this, and the small one, this, and this. Right? No, yeah, exactly. Now it's a solid block, and this needs to go at the back with a certain defined distance. And that can be again two millimeters, not too much, not too little. Okay. Cool. Yes. Okay. I, I confused myself now. There. Sorry for that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. So as I said earlier, this is, um, I, I put a, like a, a recessed corner on those flaps here at the, at the beginning on, on the, um, in the front, but uh, that's not something that I, I need, I think. I, I not even see that. I wouldn't see it here, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, you can see that actually on the camera, nice. Um, a little bit of chambers and then we're done. <laughs> and of course, the orientation is messed up again. Actually, I'm not sure I want to go there now. Uh, I won't. I won't do it now. Okay, let's um, chamfer around like crazy where it's needed, and chamfer needs to go probably in the in the in the uh, in the front, just a bit. Two point five, uh, or actually one. Uh, one is maybe two. It's, you know what about seven five? Isn't, isn't that good? That's good. That's good. That's a good one. Um, the same probably for this corner. You know, if you ever touch it from the side, back. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm trying. Which one? To drink heavily or trying on shape? I mean, for something like this online tutorial or tutorial in general, it's, it's nice because then you can, I, I think you can just share a link, right? And then people can see it or use it or change it maybe even especially in the free tier where you cannot have something that's private everything is public it's good and bad at the same time but for this i think it's it's more good than bad uh something else is um also if you if you are like going somewhere else yeah, yeah of course on ship um you always can access all your stuff from a browser which is kind of nice um what else? What else? What else? What's the clock saying actually? Almost two hours into the stream. Right? 20, yeah, 20, 30, 22. Okay, I, it took longer than, um, than it needs, but again, kind of expected. Maybe this as well. And this is very pointy, right? This is a very pointy edge. Same here. And the rest is maybe this one. Giving, adding a bit more strength, a bit. Um, yeah, the rest looks actually good. What I like is that it is highlighting the um, the edges, even though I clicked on the surface. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> um, I did my best. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm also quite happy. So the intention is now to put this on the printer. I'm not sure how it comes out in PETG because I'm out of PLA. And um, taking the, the Christmas holidays into account, probably there will be no resupply arriving in time. 
but I will give it a try in, in a nice color in PTG and then share it at least in a short here on, on my channel later, like in, in the next days, during the next days. Okay. Yeah. I'm a bit scared with the flaps if they're not maybe too small, but what about the, the printing surface on this side? So uh, the intention is to have it this part printed on standing on this side and then um, kind of printing it upwards. Oh, what's the what's the length? Can I measure? Where's the measure tool? Uh, as I have a as I'm having a oh. ah, I can move the ball around. Oh, oh, okay, that's nice. Maybe that's intentional actually, huh? Can I not click on the edges? That's weird. Okay, it's then it's turning around all the way. Interesting. Um, the length. What, what? What was the length? Extrusion. 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 What was it? This one. Sixteen. Okay, I have a Prusa Mini, and that is eighteen centimeters top. So, um, as I copied the the other one, it you know them, it must have been working. So, all good. Okay, let's let's see them both together. Um, Maybe find, let's find the, um, what's it called? The plane, the cut tool, the plane cut thingy. Now I'm just looking for this. It's kind of confusing if I move it around right now. Um, let's look from the, from the front. See if, I, if we can judge actually the, the clearing and everything. Ooh, that's a problem. That would probably not work. The rest looks fine, but this needs to be fixed. How did I mess up this? Ah. Oof. Okay, I see. Um, yeah. Let's fix it the easy way. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure there's a push-pull tool. What's draft, actually? Add a draft angle to one or more phases by selecting a neutral plane or Parting line. Interesting. Shell, that's also cool. A thin walled part removing. Oh, okay, that's probably what um, what would have um, be useful for the compartments. Um, okay, then let's just go with extrude. In Fusion, there is a push pull, so where you can deliberately. Wait, a thicken? Ah, that's maybe that's that's the one that I'm looking for. Yeah, that should be it, or yeah, thicken. Wow, it's doing it on both sides. Back. Okay, cool, cool. Um let's look from the front. That's too much. So that should be already. That's maybe too much, even. We're only talking about the the clearing here, so it's 3.5, maybe. I, 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 for this one, okay, it's it's actually not if it's if there's too much on the bottom or like at, on on the top, it's not so critical because the the movement of the drawer. Um, no, that's not what I wanted is constrained by this shape here already. So even if I give a bit too much like uh, thickness here and it's <laughs> that's no that's very ugly right now. It is still but if we move it once one step up yes. The chamfer is now affecting the after the after the thickening already and that's um that's now fixing the problem cool 
I would I would consider that the fix on the uh, like a fix uh, the easy way. Kiss principle. Keep it simple. Stupid. Cool. I think. Moving it all the way back in, that's fine, even if it's standing out a little bit because of um, tolerances of the printing process. I can't see any big problems anymore. So the section, uh, section analysis is called what I, what I was looking for earlier. Section analysis would be helpful now. There must be something, I guess, and there must be something. But... Probably composite part, also interesting. Maybe here. Bend? No, no, no. Hmm. Okay. Not so, not so important right now. This looks fine, I guess. Okay. <sighs> I wasn't, uh, I wasn't really sure how that, how that would work out, but um, I think, yeah, quite okay, quite okay. So how to how to uh, export? Let's see. Para solid, three mf. That's what I usually use. Um, stream drawer. Twenty six. Resolution, probably fine, right? Export. And that was my first attempt using Onshape with my Fusion 360 background. It took me a little longer to cut this version up now because I, as I was trying to print those pieces, especially with PETG, I had some issues with my printer and especially the handle and also in the, in the front part, there were some really bad deficiencies in the print quality, which took me a while to, to cope with. If you like this video, please consider giving a thumbs up and maybe hitting subscribe. And then we see each other or I see you or you see me in the next video. Order over and out. Bye.